Hi everyone and welcome to our latest video and the first of our reviews on the channel. In this video I would like to talk about REN model railways, in particular the Stania Pacific Locos. Whilst the story of REN is linked to Harmy Double O, we'll be saving that for another video solely focused on these two models, which are W2026, the City of London in BR Maroon, and W2027, City of Stoke on Trent in LMS Lined Black. Okay, so let's have a look at the loco starting with the City of London. This was the first model produced by Wren of the Stania Pacifics, starting production in 1969 and ending in 1992 with approximately 10,000 being made. It was based on the original Hornby Dublo mould introduced in 1959. There's the tender, it's actually made out of plastic. This is what's actually known as a, I think it's a period 3 Ren Loco, so it has the um, metal tired wheels on the tender and the, the bogies there. Let's have a look at City of Stoke on Trent. This was the second Pacific introduced by Ren, produced from 1970 to 1989. So not quite as popular, but still a very popular Loco. And again, we have the Plastics tender. So this is the instruction and maintenance manual that came with all Ren Locos. Let's scan through that. So it's very very old by today's standards. No DCC back then when these were made. All the lubrication points there. Running hints. Still relevant. And at the bottom there, G and R Ren Bowlers Croft Basil and Essex. This is the 4th edition Wren catalogue, dates from 1979, and the wagons, right the bells. So we've actually got the price list here dated January 1979 from Sam's Model Shop, Hatfield Road, St Albans. Let's see how much these locos actually retailed for back then. So there's the list of all the locos. You can actually see these actually retailed at £27.90 in 1979. And that was a phenomenal amount of money back then. So, without further ado, let's get them on the track, starting with City of London. This last run about six months ago. So the thing about these Ren Locos is they do take a little while to warm up. Very heavy motors in them. So why do Wren model railways appeal to me? Well, the appeal of Wren to me is like comparing a classic car to a modern one. In the same way a modern car is better in every way than an old classic, the classic has a unique appeal, hence why I like Wren model railways. In some ways it's a very British thing as we do like craftsmanship and cottage industries. Wren produced locos from 1968 until 1992. I won't go into what happened after that. In total, just over 36,000 Stania Locos were built by Wren, making it their second best seller, just falling slightly behind the R1 tank engine, which I will cover in the next video. The 
two locos in this video were actually eBay purchases and cost around £100 each. Grant said they needed a bit of work, but um, I think you can class them as eBay bargains. The total number of Ren locos produced was around 230,000. Pretty rare locos, and many of them today are absolute bargains. So if you've got any Ren locos, please let me know in the comments section below. So, thanks very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment if you've got anything to say about Ren or model railways in general. So, thanks very much, and we'll see you in another video. Bye bye.